And so what do you do when you have a diagonal force? Well, we have to use a little bit of trigonometry here. And so if you imagine this dashed line is like a reference point, and we know this is a 60 degree angle, uh, any diagonal force can be broken into components. So a diagonal force is made out of an X component or the X part of this force, which we, we could call F sub X and a Y component, which we can call F sub Y. So according to trig, Fx and Fy are the two components that make up this force F. So it has an X component and it has a Y component. So what is Fx and what is Fy? It's simple. Fx is this force, whatever it is, let's say 50 pounds, times the cosine of this angle. So times the cosine of 60 degrees. And Fy is equal to this force, whatever it is, times the sine of this angle. So times the sine of 60 degrees. And so that's always gonna be true. Any diagonal force can be broken into an X and Y part. And once we've broken them into X and Y pieces, we can actually analyze them using our two equations, okay? 